Hello, what is up? So, I've finally figured out as to, to put FSR4 into Alan Wake 2. It, it's been a pain in the ass uh, because it works differently. You need different files. So what I've done now, because it seems like literally until AMD get their finger out, I'm going to have to just keep using this on games I want to play. So, I thought I'd just put everything on the desktop, makes it easier. Anyway, so you will need to put these files in, as we've been doing in the previous games, directly into the folder, so the Adam Wake 2 folder. So wherever you've got it installed, for me, it is in B, where all my games, I just install my games on separate drives. So it will be in, and it's literally this, it seems to be where you've got AMD, Fidelity, uh, where you see the DLSS files. It seems to be generally, that's where you paste these OptiScaler files. <coughs> so, so, and there is another file. You need to, I'll put a link in the description after I've done the video. So that's from Nexus Mods, a Steel SSG to FSR 3, because it looks like in Alan Wake 2, it will not work unless you put this mod in. And you also have to disable NVIDIA signature checks. I think that's just to fool the game to think you're, uh, or it just disables it so you can use, use it with an AMD GPU, or um, I'm not totally sure, but it also disables something the game checks. Uh, and these two files need to be pasted into this Alan Wake 2 folder as well. So both of them, there is a readme folder. That does tell you basically what I said. Oh yeah, we use this for Cyberpunk as well, for frame gen. Uh, so, and there is another file. Uh, it's a system 32 file. I think I did paste that in, but I'm not sure if that is actually what I think the frame gen mod is what made it work. But you can paste this, I can put a link where that is. That's the system 32. Uh, I can actually show you. So I think it was in a was it in a or is it in program files? Ah, oh, there. So that's, yeah. So that's in Windows System 32. And just search at the top. So. AMD XC FFX64.DOL. So you need, I'll put that in the description. So you need, I'll, you could just put it in there because it won't break the game or anything. Um, yeah, I did actually put that in as well. So I'm not sure if that made a difference, but I think it's like an AMD driver file or something. Anyway, so you put all them files in. Uh, you will need to do it the same way with these up to scale files, you will need to do the same thing. One enter, like if you've got an AMD GPU Intel one, uh, and then you want to use the DLSS inputs as well. So that'd be one. We need to come up, enjoy the game. Uh, so if we get into it, so I'll... so I've put all the files in that. So you just copy and paste them. So load up the game. Yeah, I mean the same way as my previous videos with that OptiScaler. You just replace the files. That is too loud. So I'm gonna have to turn the sound down. Uh, 
should be all right. I do not want another. Like the amount of times these games just put the music too loud. It's that annoying. Even when you turn it down, sometimes it's still too loud. But yeah, this was a pain in the ass. This because it did crack. Oh, another thing, if you load once you put them files in, it might come up with a message unsupported hardware, but you just you just it'll have a message, but it will load up, and then you just click that, and it'll load up. So. But yeah, so this is the menu. So now this is on my obviously my 9070 XT, and I've got this option. So you need to make sure you click that before you press insert and go into the option scale menu. But I've got all I've literally maxed everything out at full in 40p. Seems to be running quite well actually. So. You need to make sure it's on DLSS. Insert. Alright, so as you can see, this is this, that frame gem mod you put in. This is what I'm talking about. So ignore that for now. It will be XESS once when you first do it. But you don't change that first. You want to change this to Nukem DLSSG. You want to save it and you want to close then you want to restart the game otherwise it'll crash because if you don't apply that this is the problem i was having it will crash so if you just say say you, you'll be on that xcss so if you just click that and apply it will just crash the game and that's what was pissing me off but it turns out you need to this is important to have this fsr frame gen you need that enabled so you've got to save close the game restart it and then you can apply xes well you don't apply it you it will be on xes and you've got to apply fsr 3.x apply and it shouldn't crash hopefully if it does crash uh just keep drying it because i had to it was a pain in the ass of it but it will work eventually so as long as you make sure you put all them files in. So, yeah, it's definitely, it seems to be working. Uh, don't feel like I've got any latency or anything. Extra latency, but, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, if you just go out, but that should be FSR 4 in the game. So another look at these files, and this is like some sort of anti lag two file. So you just extract them to random wake folder. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It wouldn't surprise me if you have some problems with it because it was a pain in the ass. Like you might get some crashes, but then just restart the game if it. If it does sort of break, you can in the where you install the option scaler. So in the, this folder here, you can remove it, and you just press Y, enter, and that'll get rid of it. And then you can just try it again by going through the method of copy and pasting these files to here, and just keep trying it until it works, basically, because it was a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, but. Fine. It, I, it took me like I, I literally didn't think it was gonna work because it is a Nvidia game, like an exclusive. I thought they locked me out or something, but it does seem to be these files here. So I think this is the main one that made it work, possibly. So that that goes into here, and you you gotta make sure. I think that's quite important. Disable NVIDIA checks. So you disable that, you press run, and you say, say yes to the next few questions. So that if you want to restore that, you can just do the same thing here. Run, yes, whatever. Anyway, I think that's it. So that should work, hopefully. Um, 
he might have to restart the game. Sometimes that DLSS in the game won't appear. But it, it should work in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.